There we go. <sighs> Every once in a while, I have to make one of these videos. So, it's probably like the third one. So, if you have been subscribed to me for a while, let's say, I guess about a year. If you've been subscribed for, to me for about a year, you'll know that my channel, when I've been posting religious things, has had three different names. First, we went through Catholicism Explained, in which I attempted to and failed to explain teaching of the Catholic Church. Somehow, I started talking about really weird things, like the Upside Down Cross, which I understand is not entirely weird. Um, talking about encounters with people with different faiths, but I wasn't really explaining anything or explaining Catholicism. It, it was just kind of me posting stuff, you know? So I ended that. So then we get into Unus Christus. And I'm being honest with you, the only reason I picked Unus Christus is, as a name was because it sounded cool and it's in Latin and Latin is just really sick, you know? So yeah, I didn't really have any set goal for that. So again, I just kind of posted videos because I kind of wanted just, I wanted to post something, you know? And then we get here, Real Catholic Lifestyle, which I'm not changing the name. Don't worry. This is not another, oh, we changed the name. We changed our studio video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch some of my old stuff. It's a little cringy. Um, but anyway, yeah. So we made it to Real Catholic Lifestyle. Um, the objectives of Real Catholic Lifestyle was to keep it, one, real and authentic and personal so that use my experiences and I guess you could say my testimony um, and just my interactions with God and the faith um, to help make it help make it feel more like personal not something generalized like all right this is this is what this is this is what this is goodbye like I don't want to do that I want something personal um, something real to post Catholic obviously um, it's essential that if I'm running a religious channel that I post something that has to do with Catholicism because I'm a Catholic. Hello, Lady Guadalupe right here. So we have that. And then we have lifestyle, which is the term that I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with. So yeah, again, we have not, we have, don't have any real set goals other than keeping it real and keeping it Catholic. I'm not seeing a whole lot of lifestyle. And if we're being honest, my past couple of videos have shown me what you guys prioritize on your watch time and what I need to stop doing and what I need to start making. So I know that you guys have maybe seen my prayer app video where I converted my phone. Um, my most recent one in which I showed a lot of technical skills, you have kind of weird analogies for like life and God and going about your day. But that wasn't real. Like I scripted that. Like, yes, I, I came up with that analogy, but does that relate to me in any way? Or is it's not, it's not, it's not personal. It's not personal. So I was like, okay, fantastic editing jobs, Nicholas. Like, fantastic. Good job trying out new filming techniques. You missed the point. So, going, f going forward, um, I have two ideas in mind. One is that I keep all the reels, my current videos, the newer ones, on the channel. Um, uh, because those are supposed to be an extension of my blog. Which, by the way, no one's reading because blogging is dead. The world is on video. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep the reels. Um, put the, but instead of instead of going off on random tangents about stuff, instead, you guys really, really seem to like me talking to the camera like this, and explaining stuff, um, explaining my personal experience here at college, what it's like to be a faithful kid at college, I guess. Um, you guys like that, and it's helpful, and it's personal. It's a real Catholic lifestyle. Like, that's good, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Um, I'm forgetting all of the weird technical videos about random stuff I do. Scratch that. Next, 
I'm thinking about starting a vlog. Here's why. To get the lifestyle aspect in. If I'm talking to the camera, you only know my experience based on what I tell you. Now, if I show you my experiences, that's a whole different story. So I think vlogging maybe once a week or so, creating like, all right, this is what I did in my day. Prayer time here, got school here. Uh-oh, this thing happened in my life. All right, we resolved this. And kind of making my day like a story and seeing how God is infused to it over time. And that will really make, allow the people in my life who have spoken to me to speak to you and allow what I go through for you to feel a little bit of that. So an idea for now, it'll probably happen. So that's where I'm at right now. We're not changing the name, we're keeping it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what happens going forward. But anyways, that's all I got for today. Prayers for me, I'll pray for you. Hanging out here at college, you know, got a lot of studying to do and praying to do, you know, study and pray. All right, you guys take care.